Yes. Yeah. First Rachel, question okay. should help you out a little bit. Hopefully, okay. Rachel should help you out if you do not know the answer. Because Rachel, if you don't know this, I'll be very upset at you. Thank Here we you, go, Joey. Don't put any pressure on. Better me. Homes and Gardens says to help prevent a pot of boiling water from overflowing, what should you place across the top of it? A wooden spoon, B lid, or C cheesecloth. Okay, I just put salt in it, but okay. <laughs> uh, our team is going to say A. A? A is correct, what it's what it is. <laughs> basically, if the water starts to boil up too high, the spoon will pop the bubbles and keep it from boiling over. Yeah, it'll yeah. keep there it you go. from going Exactly, very nice with the yeah. point. Gentlemen, are you guys ready? Yeah. No. Good. <laughs> Here's your question. Oh. John loves housekeeping. housekeeping. Oh, <laughs> John loves housekeeping. He has a nickname for our dishwasher. He calls it the Avenger. <laughs> nice. Come on, babe. You could do All this. All right, you ready? Okay, okay, I'm ready. All right, yeah, no room. What, 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 I don't know. Each other. According to Better Homes and Garden, which of these is the best to use to clean your grater after shredding cheese? Is it A, cabbage, B, orange, or C, potato? I think so. We're gonna go with C, potato. Potato is correct. Beat up potato. That's right. You grate a raw potato after every cheese grating session and it will remove cheese stuck to the surface and inside the holes. There you Nicely go. Nicely done. All right, so far we're tied. Here's the next question for you ladies. You ready? Here's okay, the next question. Oh God. Which of these does Bob I Vila do say? Of this. <laughs> oh, look at me, it looks like me. Which of, these? Which of these does Bob Vila say you should do when spray painting? Is it A, use a constant stream, B, use vertical strokes, or C, use several thin coats? Say it again as you're thinking. Oh, According to Better Homes, oh, listen. Which of these does Bob Vila say you should do when spray painting? A, use a constant stream. B, use vertical strokes. Or C, use several thin coats. I know, Rachel, this is your show, so we don't want to waste so much time. You pick. Take your time. I don't know, this one's tough. Stop it! Oh, sorry. Oh, I guess you pick A. Yes? Yeah. All right, she's going for A again. Ooh. I'm gonna back her up. She's going A. She says, use a constant stream. Oh, incorrect, I'm sorry. It is oh. use several thin coats. Spraying oh. paint in several uh, thin coats is recommended for smooth that even either. colors. He has no, never... No, we... I, I guess that paint. one. We just... You did, you did guess that one? Oh, your yeah, DI you don't. Concur? Are you kidding? <laughs> All right. Your DI won't. <laughs> so this is the end all make all. If you guys get this correct, you will win the 500 yeah. bucks. You will get the $250. So nobody goes no. home with a loser. So you get 250 bucks. Yeah, I gotta take my Are you ready for your final dinner. question? Yes. Here we go. We're this ready. is Good go. Eats. This is the group. Oh, see, he gets a full question According now. to the Spruce, what is the shelf life of an open box of cereal stored in your pantry? Is it A, one year, B, six months, or C, three months? Okay. <laughs> Wait, no, that's, yeah, let's do it. He says A. A. One year. Wrong, it's actually C, three months. While cereal that remains sealed can last much longer. Open cereal in your pantry only has a shelf life of two to three months. Still, though. Okay. That is right. Oh, got a tie so there's a tiebreaker. Is there a think... tiebreaker? We can do one more question if we need to. No, oh, you know what? You know Forget what? it. Do Everybody. it. Everybody. Everybody gets 500.